the coming era will be related to heavy investment in infrastructure projects. And, and the district cooling is one of the leading projects in the field of sustainability. So the investment is going for a long-term investment. You know, the, 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 the banking industry and the investment bodies are moving towards really uh, investing heavily in the district cooling in UAE, especially with the uh, highest tonnage that has reached in, in, in Dubai. It could, you know, exceed the two million uh, ton between Imikul, e e e uh, Empower, and uh, Tabrid. So we have really a, a mega projects on the pipeline, which needs, a, a, you know, massive investment from a capital expenditure, and uh, uh, operational uh, aspects will be managed through a proper investment portfolio and financial models. All across the world, the real estate and, and the master developer are building a condensed community with a high-rise building, and, and, and most probably uh, they, they like to name it and label it as sustainable. So this high density, uh, the main driver to have, a, 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 we call it energy saving district cooling concept, is, is to have a, a sustainable district cooling as an air conditioning solution, not the traditional air conditioning. Because I know, uh, you know that there is a kilowatt per ton, which is related to the traditional uh, air conditioning and the district cooling. There could be a saving of 33% across the board from the network up to the future consumption. All our plants in, in Dubai have a, a sort of a TSE and we are working on utilization factor between 60 to 80 percent and, and we blend for many reasons related. You need to maintain a certain blowdown criteria after the you know after using the water so you know when you use the water in an open space the, there is a high salinity impact which could could go down with the blow down that's why we are really uh, doing our optimum best to have uh, polished and reverse osmosis in order to get the uh, benefit of the treated sewage effluent we call it tse